Hi, my Aries, and welcome to your mid-month reading of love and work guidance. Oh my god, I feel so tired. I'm not kidding. You guys were the next one after Taurus, and I wasn't able to do it. And it's almost 10 o'clock, almost 10 o'clock in the night, and um, I just feel so exhausted. Is that energy of you, Aries? Like work, 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 work. It's just so tiring. It was so funny because I was finishing Taurus and I did the one in English and I just started feeling okay. I'm feeling exhausted. When I was done with Taurus, I said, okay, I need to do Aries. I'm like, I can't do Aries. Anyway, this is. Uh, soul uh, in love guidance I don't even know what I said I said love and work and it's soul that's how that's you that's you it's your energy Aries it's like you keeping me so tired like I need to sleep as soon as I was supposed to do your reading I'm just feeling sleepy and tired I feel like I worked so much which I did like uploading all these videos and and one after another and I I have never felt so tired like now I'm going for Aries reading and I'm just like dead so tired so so we're gonna start with your soul guidance part and what energy is going in for you coming in is going to be the wheel of fortune yes is a great type of energy that you definitely need to take advantage of there's nothing you can do you can't control it this is what you've been dragging since the first two weeks so you're entering with the wheel of fortune and i see what's coming behind look at this how is that you got to this energy you know i think you were dealing with some i know i know some so many but just to understand why i need to understand how is that we got to the wheel of fortune you might have been dealing with someone who is an earth sign or behave like an earth sign or has a rising sign an earth sign virgo taurus virgo capricorn and someone who pretty much is a king of pentacles but someone who definitely abuse a little bit of authority or is a little controlling or is someone that could be your rock and support but it's not really because it's kind of like too abusive and too controlling um and I think you just decided to let go of that energy. You've been dealing with that energy in the past or someone like that. And you're like, no, I'm not holding on to this. I'm just letting go. I don't care. I'm, I'm not holding resentments against this person or whatever. And it's someone that probably you've been dealing with. Uh, part of your life that you having maybe a group of people you having a conflict and like a competition. Because this card means a lot of competition and look at these cards work 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 it's it seems like this is more like a work reading i guess that's why i came up work because you're thinking about work all the time aries work work i need to get a job i need to get a better job uh you're making me crazy so this is like a very uh much of a healthy competition you might be competing for something and you might be dealing with people or maybe trying to get to know get to annoy you um it could be in any other situation if it's in love and it's not happening at work and remember this is for any area of your life could be even in love you know competing for someone you like or someone that you were dealing with that it wasn't worth it right and you decided to let go and don't even deal with that anymore that type of energy because you let go and you didn't get you didn't take the offer of confrontations conflicts winning at all costs you just let go and you did great because that's why the universe pushed this to you i'm sorry the wheel of fortune upright so because of your good behavior and what you have done boom they send you that however what is it you need to avoid look at this quickly stare at this the moon and the bird you know what that means i'm going to tell you what this means Aries, you are such a great communicator as you are. But that's what you need to avoid. This moon, remember, it can create 
a lot of things can be cycles from the past coming can also mean gravitational forces on earth in your mouth and what you say and I'm going to explain this better because what is that the moon does low ties high ties pull push and it literally what it's saying is you need to control all this emotional roller coaster that you're going to be in or you've been in and this two weeks you are so exhausted probably and your energy is going to be very low and i know because i'm feeling it I'm feeling it. I pick up your energy. That's not great. <laughs> so I'm feeling so exhausted. So much work. I knew I was going to do this reading today. I just felt so tired. I was like, oh my Lord. As soon as I was going to do yours. But you need to be careful. Whatever you're saying, how you're saying it. Just do not burst out. Do not wait for um, the last minute. to Just go do a meditation. Whatever you want. Control that emotions. Do not go out of control. Emotionally, you don't know if someone will try to ask you at work or in a relationship or anyone will be like, hey, how you been feeling? And you go, oh no, I've been feeling tired. I'm done, too much work. Cut it out. Do not say anything. Don't show anything. Do not talk about your emotions. You're okay. Because you know what can happen? You see this is the opposite. You have this success at work, or maybe you've been very, very, very um, consistent at work and persistent. I see you with this. I'm pretty sure you've been doing pretty good. If you don't have work, or you don't have a job, maybe you're gonna, maybe you got a new job. Something happened because it seems like more like work related, even in love, resonated in your situation. It doesn't matter any area even in family but you pretty much got success you've been you're doing pretty good but you have to be careful because that could be caught and dropped the advancing of something that you might love in the future if you do not control your emotions if you do not control your mouth and your emotions so try to show that emotional stability in any area of your life not only work but with your family, whatever you're trying to get, you need to take advantage of this energy of luck, of advancement, of whatever you want happening for you. It's moving quickly, okay? And you need to take advantage of it. Do not turn it upside down. We want to keep it this way. What you need to focus on, look at this. What did I'm saying? Do not talk listened you need to be um very receptive in this last two weeks of january be very receptive stay in a quiet uh mind and you know um i'm getting confused i'm so tired your energy is just i'm so exhausted you try to you need to try to stay quiet receptive keep your mind clear quiet mind you know, and here, even what people say around you, everything, just try to absorb all of it. And Andre says the card of acceptance, what it says, you know, see yourself and others through the eyes of the angels. You, you will inspire. If you do this, you will inspire and lift everyone to their highest potential. And I think what it's trying to say is you need to listen more, be uh, receptive of everything, be that friend, show that you're emotionally stable, right? Try to avoid even people that come on that come to you with an emotional instability and they might cut your happiness or your luck or your, you know, just cut that off, okay? I just felt that too. So try to stay away from any of that type of situation with people or from you, just be receptive. But don't get into that game of emotionally instability. What is your soul lesson? It's a freedom. And that means that you possess the power you needed to learn 
that you possess the power and the um and the free will to create your own happiness and i think that if you if we're talking about relationships i think what they say is that you needed to learn that you can create your own happiness and you don't need nobody to make you happy in general even in love you need to be content with with what you're gaining you know all that that lucky you know all that luck coming to you all that whatever's happening to you maybe a lot of work and whatever but you know what you see now you have that power you have that control you happy with what you have and who you who you are now and that's what you needed to learn and for my singles have nobody leave in the present you want to attract love in your life you need to leave in the present leave the past behind remember the moon also means things returning so people situations leave that in the in the garbage you don't need it and you're able to bring forth the energy of love in your current circumstances straightforward leave in the present leave the past behind don't even look at it enjoy this because something might come around the corner for you you just needed to learn that you are capable to do whatever you want and make yourself happy. For my couples, trust. You need to be able to create the, a strong connection with your partner and build trust, okay? Um, have faith in your intuition, okay? And remember that Every single relationship, it's based in trust. If you do not have trust in your partner, then nothing is going to work, my Aries. So, it was very short, very straightforward. So, I hope I help you in any way. Wish you the best, but you have the luck. Enjoy it next two weeks and let's see what you oh look at this and i was just saying something good coming to you you have the knight of cups leave the present some offer or someone coming oh look at this it's coming steady slow but it's coming that offer could be an offer of love someone coming in um maybe through work if it's not through work someone new because now that you're ready and you know that you can create your own happiness now you're ready to receive love for real okay my aries see you much love much light see you in february ciao